Hello and welcome to Washela's Insights. I want to talk to you about a class that I'm teaching right now. It's called Meditation, Mindfulness, and Manifestation. And what I teach about in the class, in addition to doing a lot of um, meditations and mindfulness exercises, is manifesting the life of your dreams or a life that you really, really love and enjoy. Some of the people in the class are having a hard time wrapping their mind around the big picture of their life vision. And really, you don't have to start with the big picture with this is what I want my life to look like because you might not know right now all of the possibilities that are out there for you. So the best way to start your life visioning and your creative visualization of the life you really desire is to go into your heart space and meditate and generate a feeling of love and joy. Like that feeling of blissful, joyful happiness that you get when you're just having a moment of delight or having fun or really enjoying yourself. And you can bring things to mind that remind you of a time when you felt that way to help you generate that feeling. And when you get that feeling, just be with that feeling in your meditation and stick with it for as long as you can generate it and really see if you can draw it out and get yourself feeling happy and jubilant and, and just experience fun and joy. And it's from that space that you want to create your life vision. So it's okay if your life vision starts out just as I want to have a puppy in my life. Maybe that's part of your life vision. But then if that puppy makes you feel joyful and excited and, and jubilant, then that might open up into, I'm walking my puppy on the beach at the ocean. And maybe that brings you more joy and you feel how much fun that would be to be walking your puppy. And then maybe other pieces will start to open up like, where do I live and who is with me and um, what type of place do I live in? But it doesn't all have to come at, in one session and one meditation. Just allow yourself to stick with that happy feeling and then allow things to come into your visualization that add to your happiness. And it's okay if you have something very specific and you already know what that is. It's fine to focus on something that you're already clear about and that brings you joy too. You can bring that in and expand on it. And it is, it's kind of like pieces of a puzzle. You'll get a piece and you'll focus on it and you'll feel it and feel joyful about having that piece of the puzzle. And then another piece will drop in and then another piece until you get this big picture. So just be sure to give yourself plenty of time and plenty of space. And the most important thing is to have fun with it and find that joyful experience in your creating. And when you find that and you, you really get to that point where you feel like, oh yeah, this is what it feels like to be living this way, to be having this life experience. And when you can feel like you've already accomplished that, then you've got it. And then law of attraction will draw it into your experience. And I don't mean you only need to do it once. Some people are pretty quick at this, but for other people, it takes a lot of tries. But don't worry about it. Have fun with it. It's important to really enjoy it each time you get there and you have that experience of, yeah, this is what it feels like and it feels good. Just keep practicing and keep enjoying and have fun and soon all of the things that you're enjoying experiencing in your meditation you will be enjoying the experience of in your 3D life.
Thank you so much for joining me today. I'd love to hear from you here or on my Facebook page, Washayla's Insights. And if you like my videos, I have more coming out each week. And I'd love it if you'd subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much and have a beautiful day.